let us all that we can to build a better future. All right, uh, Daniel, you've got a story for the people. Yeah. What is ongoing? Okay, so it's like it seems like it's Fox News Day today, and that wasn't intentional. It just happened to be what was being put out. Um, okay, so this is okay. So Fox News, uh, just like the Clintons, again, every all these people are basically the same. Mm-hmm. The GOP, according to Fox, has a shit list. Oh no! And that that list is of things that they're going to get back at people for, of course, because you know can't govern. That's really stupid. Who would do that? Govern. So um, let's let's hear what uh, from our good friend Case Study QB for clipping it out. Let's just uh, take a look at what they have to say. Uh, Republicans gearing up for a red wave in November, as we've just red been talking wave. about. The Cook Political Report just revised its fall House forecast to a net Republican gain of 20 to 35 seats and calls 35 Democrat-held seats a toss-up or lower. GOP Conference Chair Elise Stefanik is making plans for and if Republicans retake the House. She tells the New York Post that among her top priorities are getting answers on former New York Governor Cuomo's cover-up of nursing home COVID deaths, the suppression of the Hunter Biden laptop story, and getting to the bottom of those secret migrant flights into New York that she claims are, quote, a human trafficking operation paid for by the taxpayers in the dark of the night. Mercedes. Well, first of all, it's important for the Republicans to have an agenda to work through when they win the House of Representatives and most likely the Senate. Uh, and part of this that I think Elise Stefanik lays out are the investigations. That obviously, if Jim Jordan is running the Judiciary Committee, that's going to be very, a uh, very prominent part of what you're seeing on the Republican side. In addition to that, they have to work through the legislation piece of this, which is how do you ensure that we try to control the situation? at the border. But remember, we're going to end up in a gridlock because while House Republicans and this and let's pray, uh, you know, we have Republicans take the majority in the Senate. The reality is, is you're going to have Joe Biden basically vetoing any bill. I mean, he's going to try to stop uh, the work of, of the Republicans. It's what happens when you have a divided government. The key will be hey, where it. can we find common ground? That's not true. That's <laughs> never been true. The last time we had Republican majority uh, Democratic president, I believe it was under Clinton, mm-hmm. and that was where some of the worst bills. Much of the stuff we're dealing with today yeah. is a result of those bills. Yeah. That's the Telecommunication Act, which caused all of the media companies to merge together. That's the crime bills. That's a lot of stuff that Biden did. A lot of the worst things that we're dealing with today are a result of a Democratic president and a Republican Congress because all the Democrats want to do is pass something. Okay, they're more happy to pass bills when there were Republicans controlling House and Senate than they are when Democrats are there. Yeah. So let's be absolutely clear. I'm a better strategist than whoever's talking. And by the way, with the Democrats, if they are a majority, they usually come up with some poor piss excuse saying why they couldn't because all blue dog Democrats. But when Republicans are in, they're like, Ah, oh, I wish people voted for more Democrats. Democrats say they, they got excuses. They're that person that always shows up late to a team meeting. They're that I'm person. I'm sorry, man. I couldn't pay you back. My uh, my dog got hit by a car. Uh, the same dog. As, yeah, he got hit again. He got hit again. I had to go to the vet. Uh, yeah. I'm real sorry. I, I can get you a copy of the vet bill. Uh, yeah, I'd like a copy of that vet bill. I'm sorry. I actually, I don't have access to it. I'm my other vet. dog ate the vet my bill. My other dog ate the vet bill. <laughs> the, one that, the one that got better. Um, uh so, so I can't pay you, has the Democrat. Yeah, and, and it was a blue dog that ate that bill, too. So there you go. Yeah. All right. Whereas Republicans are like, F you, I'm not paying. Yeah. That's, that's, the, that's the difference between the two parties. And, I, and I'd rather take that refreshing F you because at least I know, oh, okay, well, at least you're an asshole. I know you're yeah. an asshole, not a lying asshole. So there you go. <laughs> it's like, oh, great. So the, uh, never mind. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, let's, let's play the rest of it. There's like 10 more seconds in there. Brown. So is it, for example, legislation right. where you curb the flow of fentanyl coming into this country? There you can find common ground. And that's going to be uh, really, I think, the challenge as we move forward with a Republican majority in the House and the Senate. Well, Daniel, this is, I mean, it's like, again, it's, like, it's going to be real funny. They don't make any difference in um, Democrat, Republican, the Senate. And Joe Manchin's like, OK, I'll flip. <laughs> and so everything the Democrats have done, like we have to keep him loyal so that he keeps voting Republican. But under the right brand name, yeah. he has to he has to vote Republican while drinking a Pepsi. He a can't Pepsi. Dr- he can't drink a Coke while that happens. That's the worst thing. 
And then they do all of that and they give him everything. And yeah. then he still flips. They, then they, and then he flips. Yeah. It's, it's, look, it's, it's pathetic. And, and then he goes, I was not being treated well by my own party. So I'm mm, flipping. He'll do that. And why? Because, well, Democrats have no backbone. And then Democrats will be in a response to all this. We need to purge the, the progressives from our roles. Yeah, AOC. It's all their fault. Well, in fact, let's have democracy in the chat. Let's say if there was a via like a Republican red, red <coughs> excuse me, a Republican red wave. Uh, type three, if you think the Democrats will start blaming the progressives for their losses and they'll purge it from their ranks. Type four, if you think, oh, this time around, Democrats will come together. Let's have democracy. Or de- no, type five, if you're like, oh, the Democrats will put together a nice package of bills that really help the American cis- a citizen <laughs> have a real good thing, <laughs> offset themselves from the Republicans, start taking small donor money, really align themselves with the, I'm just, what am I kidding? No, five isn't a real answer. And five is not a real answer. That happens. I don't know what kind of pizza bet that is, who's paying for it, but they'll go I'm, bust. All I know is I'm wanting two slices of pizza. The next <laughs> there, you go. there you go. All right. Um, <coughs> so final note for this. Democrats, you suck. Nothing good to say about you. Democrats, you suck and you're malicious. Republicans, you're malicious and you suck. There we go. I think that's perfect. But as for Democratic and Republican voters, please wake up and break away from the two-party system because these politicians don't like you, they don't think about you, and they don't respect 